This is Andy Parra for Boxing Social, and I'm delighted to be joined by JJ Metcalf. JJ, how are you doing? I'm good, mate, yeah. You? Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. It's obviously good to hear you doing well. But down here today for the undercard press conference ahead of your bout with Jason Wellborn on Saturday night on Josh Warrington's undercard. Just talk about this fight and what are you expecting from Jason on Saturday night? Yeah, I'm expecting the best Jason Wellborn. I'll prepare for the best Jason Wellborn. Uh, I'm expecting a good fight. Jason's become known for being wars, but effectively, is that the type of style you expect him to bring against yourself? Or do you think he'll be coming prepared to do something different? I don't know. I don't know what he's going to come with. But you know, if you go back on all his fights, you see what he's doing mostly the same. So I'm just preparing for so far hard fight. So it's about your preparations. What exactly have you been looking into and looking to do? What do you mean by that? With regards to your game plan and your tactics come Saturday night? I sit here and talk about my tactics and my game plan, but um, I just let you know I've trained hard for it and, you know, I'm fit. But 110% into everything I do and um, I think he'll show on Saturday. How frustrating a period has it been for you with regards to since the Liam Williams fight was cancelled because of your injury, but you've actually had to wait for this opportunity and now you've got it. How frustrating has it been that the little wait for a chance like this? Oh, it's been, I've had a very frustrating career to be honest with you, not just that, that particular thing. Um, there's been loads of situations where fights have fell through and um, certain things have happened and you know, I'm sort of getting used to, to it now and then. Um, no, now hopefully I can just propel and keep keep getting um, more fights, be a bit more active because I think the more active I am, the better I'll be. How difficult has it been to stay motivated through those tough times and not having those fights uh, presented to you? you no, know, um, it has been hard, but um, you know I've got my dad with me and he he makes he helps with my motivation. I'm always motivated, but it's you know sometimes when you're down, he's dead and he's. Um, Pushing you and keeping you, keeping you right. Do you feel that now that you've got the chance for the Commonwealth title, that maybe a stoppage victory might be needed just to make a bit of a statement across the division? No, no, um, I don't think it does. No, I just think I win. That's all I go for. You talked about the, the headline event as well, Josh Warrington versus Kid Galad. What are your thoughts on the fight? It's gonna be a cracking fight, yeah. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go, but. I'm looking forward to it and probably watch it straight after mine. And then obviously in the middle of the night on Saturday, uh, Tyson Fury fought it's Tom Schwartz again. What are your thoughts on that one? I think I don't think there's no stop on Tyson Fury. I don't think so. Just a Tyson Fury win. A few weeks, well, sorry, sorry, a couple of weeks ago, Anton Joshua suffered a shock defeat to Andy Ruiz Jr. How did you react to that fight and <coughs> Anthony's performance? It was a shock, yeah, it was a big shock for boxing and um, you know, he was I don't even know what, what happened to him but he's a um, he should come back from that and see how it goes the next fight, but that Ruiz is no um, no joke. He's he's got I've seen him before, I've seen how fast his hands were and I thought it's gonna be a tough fight for him but you know, I don't think he can come back from it. Well, JJ Metcalf, I appreciate your time, so thanks, Peter, Boxing Social. Thank you very much.